Hello, Laverne here, and thank you for joining me. Hi, Laverne. I do not believe, and I think a lot of atheists would agree, that we have no real proof that the whale did not evolve from fish, that it has not always been a water creature. To say that uh, without question the, the whale actually is first a sea creature that evolved into land and then back into a sea creature, well there's just not enough evidence to say without question that this, this is a fact. It's a theory. So that's a real problem I have with this video. I'm currently working on a video debunking creationist claims about the fossil record of whales, so in the interest of not making redundant videos, I won't go into detail here about the definitely transitional fossils which connect whales to land mammals, or how we know these fossils represent intermediates. But because of the nature of evolutionary biology, I won't even need to because the evidence is so massive that I couldn't even contain all the non-fossil evidence in one video if I tried. That in mind, this will not be a comprehensive video, and more evidence is available that directly supports the proposition that whales are descended from land animals. During embryonic development, whales express small hind limb buds, homologous to all other mammals, which get reabsorbed before birth. If this reabsorption process does not take place, however, the whale is born with rudimentary hind limbs, complete with bones which could bend at the knee if the correct muscle attachments were there. And again, they're homologous to land animal limb bones. This evidence corresponds nicely with the fact that whales also have a pelvis, which in land mammals attach the legs to the rest of the skeleton. Why would an animal have these features if it were not descended from a land animal? On the flip side, i.e. in their flippers, whales have bones homologous not to fish fins, but to mammalian hands, complete with humerus, radius, ulna, carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. How could evolution have reproduced this exact combination of features independently and unrelated on two separate occasions? While some fish, such as sharks, do have partial warm-bloodedness, no fish is fully warm-blooded like all whales are. Warm-bloodedness is not an intelligent design in water-dwelling animals as it causes rapid calorie consumption and loss of body heat, but it's ideal for diurnal land mammals. To compensate for this problem, whales had to evolve a thick layer of fat commonly known as blubber. But warm-bloodedness didn't even evolve until approximately 100 million years after the invasion of land during the Devonian period. The earliest known evidence of true warm-bloodedness didn't come until the late Permian. Some cynodonts, like this Thoraxodon, are commonly found curled up in a ball, which suggests a strategy to conserve body heat while sleeping. And the earliest mammals on record didn't even appear until 200 million years ago, which is 140 million years after the Devonian period's end. When running on all fours, quadrupedal land mammals' bodies undulate up and down. This is how whales move through the water, too. But all fish that undulate their bodies for locomotion do so from side to side, regardless of their size. Via genetic analysis, it has been shown that the closest living relatives to the order Cetacea is not any kind of fish, but the Artiodactyls. This confirms an evolutionary prediction first advanced way back in the late 1800s that whales were related to ungulates. It's also why dolphins and hippos share the same underwater communication system. As a hippo submerges, special valves automatically seal its ears and nostrils, but that doesn't stop it hearing or communicating underwater. Those buzzy, clicky sounds are made inside the hippo's closed-off airways. They sound a lot like the clicks produced by dolphins, and that's no coincidence. Recent research shows hippos are related to dolphins and whales and share a common ancestor. During the frangula stage of embryonic development, vertebrates, including whales, fish, and us, express a structure known as the pharyngeal arches. In fish, these form into gill arches, while in mammals, whales included, they form into such structures as the thyroid, larynx, and parathyroid. If whales were more closely related to fish than to the rest of the mammals, this would make no sense. Whales also have recreational sex, express milk, speak, grow hair, have a four-chambered heart, a mammalian brain, neck vertebrae, and closing eyelids. In short, the idea that this series of complex characteristics evolved independently in two unrelated lines is as impossible as a language as complex as English being derived independently in two civilizations completely alien to one another. Do not be frightened. We mean you no harm. You, you speak English. I am actually speaking Rigelian. By an astonishing coincidence, both of our languages are exactly the same.